Lursen has earned an international reputation as a specialist builder of exclusive bespoke yachts and outstanding engineering mastery. Innovation has always been one of the most important driving forces in the company's history. In 1886, Lursen built the world's first motorboat together with Gottlieb Daimler. It is therefore not surprising that Lursen is now also building the first Lursen yacht with fuel cell technology for a pioneering and technology-driven client. In order to advance sustainable shipbuilding, Lursen has been involved in research projects aimed at using fuel cells on ships since 2005. Since 2009, Lursen has been a partner in the national research project PACCEL. The aim is to develop and test a hybrid energy system with a new generation of PEM fuel cells for yachts and seagoing passenger vessels. To drive the implementation forward, Lursen has committed to a strategic partnership with Freudenberg, the leading experts for maritime fuel cells. Fuel cell power systems avoid harmful emissions such as nitrogen oxides, sulfur oxides and soot. They are virtually noise and vibration free and ensure long-term reliability and increased performance. When cleverly combined with batteries, complete energy systems can be realized in a CO2 neutral way. A single fuel cell consists of a proton exchange membrane, PEM, which is coated with a catalytic surface. On its anode side, the protons of the hydrogen atoms can pass through the membrane. The electrons belonging to these protons are transported via an external electrical connection to the cathode side, where they combine with the oxygen to form water. Many of these fuel cell slides assembled to a multi-cell stack, form the heart of the power generating system. The electrical energy can be used for hotel operations or even drive systems, while the heat generated by the process can be used for pool heating, for example. Storing the required hydrogen in pure form is not practical due to the substantial space requirements of cryogenic or pressure tanks on board a yacht. However, hydrogen can be chemically bonded to carbon dioxide to obtain methanol, which can be stored in structural tanks in the double bottom. Methanol is completely biodegradable should it accidentally leak into the seawater. Methanol is already readily available worldwide as a basic material for the chemicals industry. The share of green methanol produced from renewable energies and recycled carbon dioxide will steadily increase, thereby creating a closed CO2 cycle. Soon, the first yacht currently under construction will be able to lie at anchor for more than 15 days carbon neutrally, or cruise more than a thousand miles purely propelled by a fuel cell. That is roughly equivalent to the route from New York to Miami. The next step will be a Lursen yacht, powered by fuel cells only.